You said the remote was floating. Yeah, I'm trying to use a guardian with your phone. Oh. It's floating now, see? Yeah, I see. It's floating because I'm magic. Yes, you are. The TV. Are you videotaping me? No. Are you sure? Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Did I go Southern into Jimmy Fallon? No. That would be awesome. I want to meet Jimmy Fallon. Yeah, he's pretty cool. <laughs> Jim, Jimmy, we love you, but please don't drink. It's no good for you. It makes you, you sick, and you kind of do dumb things. Everybody's worried about you. We love you. I don't think he, he understands how much people actually care about him. Even if they just watch his show and think he's funny, we do care. I know. People care about people we don't even know. Yeah. That's the thing that it's a curse and a gift. Caring about people. Caring about people all the time is a gift because it shows how kind hearted you are. Yeah. And how amazing of a person you are. But caring for others, I don't think people realize it. It takes a toll on yourself, too. So maybe. Jimmy Fallon cared a lot too. I think he cares about his family. And, you know, sure, you know, people love their fans and who watches their show. But I can personally say that I feel like I know him. And it's just how he is. Like, my intuitive sense gets really, really weird lately, and so I just wanted to tell people that I love Jimmy Fallon, and I hope he lives a long, healthy life, but we also want to be able to see you be happy and healthy without having to use alcohol because using alcohol has ruined a lot of my friends' families' lives. And yeah. I don't want to see you to see, I don't want to see you go through that. Mm. That was sweet. I love you, Jimmy Fallon. And I hope you know that we care, even if you think we don't. We care a lot. So please try to stop for us and for your family. They need you. I know I wouldn't have been able to make it without my parents in my life. I may be 17 and I may not be the smartest sometimes, but I can say that with having my parents around and not drinking or smoking has changed my outlook on the world and how you can be happy without those other things. So please think about your family and think about what makes you happy. What makes me happy is seeing my family happy. You can make people happy without having to go to drink. We love you, Jimmy. Scout family forever. Even if you're not related. We might be related, though. That would be so dope if we were related. I would just probably cry. So. Don't um, worry. I'm trying not to. It's hard not to cry right now. I'm, 
I may be a little doped up right now, but I know what I'm talking about at least. I know that. And so, please just think about your future and your family and where it's going to go and whether you actually need this in your life or else it can be replaced by something else. I have gone through struggles too, and I may be some 17 year old kid that you might think I'm crazy, but I know how hard it is to go from doing something that makes you feel in control or numbs the pain or anything like that and just stopping and finding different things that make you feel the same way without hurting yourselves or the people around you. Please just be smart. We don't want you to leave this world too early like a lot of my friends have. I've lost family and I've lost friends early and I feel they were taken too quickly and too young. Say goodbye to Jimmy now. Okay. Bye Jimmy. We love you.